Hi, right, what's up, guys? This is Mark Augustine, and I'm here on the Mark Show. We interview a number of successful entrepreneurs and various leaders in e-commerce. Um, here I have Gabe from OA Genius. What's up, Gabe? Hey, how's it going, Mark? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. So, so you guys, the purpose of this video, I've had you on the channel before. We, I think, a while back when we went through all the suppliers on OA Genius. Um, right. But a lot has changed since then. A lot of different features and, and additions and so on. But before we get into that, how was Christmas? How was New Year's and so on? <laughs> ah, beautiful, beautiful. I, I got to spend it in Costa Rica, so it was amazing. Oh, right. Um, you, to you told me you spent a month. I didn't realize you were there for Christmas. Yeah, yeah. I spent the whole month of December down there. Um, beautiful weather. Uh, really got to enjoy it. Met a lot of great people. Okay, okay. All right, sweet. So what, okay, so since like, over the past year, just give me a kind of quick summary of some of the updates that came out on Genius, but then we'll get into the, the specific research tool. Yeah, so I mean, I mean, there's definitely been a lot of updates, some, some bigger than others. Uh, one of the bigger ones was uh, launching of the, of the Walmart marketplace and, uh, and being able to get uh, sellers who are selling on Walmart uh, as a third-party seller uh, into the OA Genius system. So right. that's been amazing. Uh, so that's been probably the biggest, uh, uh, you know, new feature from, from OA Genius. But then a ton of smaller ones just to help with, you know, daily tasks and automation and really just things to help you move along your day quicker. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. All right, sweet. So this, cha this change with moving the, the, um, the product research from the... Google Chrome extension into the application. I mean, we'll, we'll show it in a second, but why was that done? Yeah, so we, as, as many of you probably know, we have our Gravity uh, OA Genius Chrome extension, which is a Chrome extension. You can go onto different supplier websites and search those supplier websites um, and, and find products that you can sell for a profit. We decided to add on to that and offer a new way to do product research and that would be in app so we're actually uh you're you're able to you don't have to go to the supplier websites in order to uh to source the products we'll provide you the suppliers we'll provide you the categories and you can just go ahead click the checkbox on which categories say i want to make you know a minimum of x a maximum of y um, you know, set sales ranks, minimum maximums, and from there, all within within the application, you can do your searches. There's uh, there's other tools out there uh, similar to this. Uh, we're going to be one of those where we're going to have everything in app, and you basically, you know, click all the uh, all the categories you want, click run search, and then you can go ahead, turn your computer off, let the search run, come back a couple hours later or or sooner, and then you can go ahead and uh, start looking at all the products that we've sourced for you. And, and you can choose uh, you know, how, what you wanna do with the products. If you wanna list them, not list them, up to you. Yeah, that, that saves a lot of time because when I use the, Google, the Chrome extension, I would systematically go through category to category and find like, because that's, that's, I think that's a, a systematic way to do it, but it was manual. So actually this will speed up the process and save a lot of time. Yeah, exactly. Speed up the process, save a lot of time. And that's really, that's a really, uh, you know, that was the goal for making, making the system and just making sure that uh, results are loading up. Um, you know, we, we did listen to a lot of, uh, you know, customer feedback and, and uh, hopefully this new tool is uh, something that is new and exciting and people are going to be uh, happy to use. Okay. Well, well, do you want to, do you want to share your screen if you don't mind and like go through some of the stuff that we talked about? So, so the yeah. viewers can see. So guys, if you want to check out OA Genius, there's a link in the description to a free trial. And if you have any questions for upcoming updates and so on, you could comment on the video and, um, and we'll respond. But yeah. Yeah. Let me go ahead and uh, just share my screen. I can show you exactly uh, how everything works. This is the new system. So once you're inside, you have, uh, you know, this is, this is the login to your, to your Gravity uh, uh, software. Now, inside of the account, uh, you'll have this uh, search page and you can name your search. Let's just call it the search test, one, two, three. And you're naming that search to save it, right? So like- Yeah, not, like and if, you, can, you, can uh, change, you can change the name of the search at any step of the process, really. So if I go to the next step, um, let's say I choose, I want to choose Amazon FBM. I can go ahead and change this search to something else if I want ah, to. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. because I, I would suggest for, for organizations sake to use maybe like the supplier and the 
type of items or category you're going to suit for. That's just my right, like S, Zorro. So let's go back a page and, and uh, I'll just start from the beginning. So you have three options. Uh, you can choose to source uh, for FBM purposes. For FBA, for all your FBA sellers out there, you can choose a source for Amazon FBA. And for all the Walmart marketplace sellers, uh, you can choose the source for Walmart as the marketplace. So for this example, we'll choose Amazon FBM. And then I guess for this example, we'll also choose Zorro as the supplier. And we'll click this arrow to go to the next option. And from here, you have all these different supplier categories. I mean, there's a ton. Um, what you can do is if you're looking for a specific uh, uh, a category, let's say you want to do tools, it can, it'll go ahead and, uh, and narrow it down based off the tools. And you get to choose up to 10 categories at a time. So if I wanted to, I can choose up to 10. So I can choose all of these, right? And then once I right. uh, went up to 10 categories, you'll get, the, you'll get that little error notification saying, hey, you've chosen all the categories that you're allowed to choose. And from here, you'll just click the next step. And uh, on this next step, you're setting your filter so you can choose it to estimate the sales tax. Uh, you wanna make sure that the product's in stock at the supplier, you'll click this uh, checkbox. Estimate shipping costs. When you estimate shipping costs, you have to enter a zip code. Um, so you'll enter a zip code like that. And then below, you can choose to set a uh, minimum and maximum ROI, uh, minimum and maximum sales rank, minimum and maximum net profit by the dollar amount or, or by profit margin. So for this example, maybe I'll choose a sales rank between one and uh, 500,000. And let's say I wanna make uh, a minimum profit margin of, let's say 5% and then a maximum of 50. Uh, it's up to you if you want to right. set a maximum, um, but for this, I just did it for this example. And then I have all these checked off. So estimate sales tax and stock at supplier, estimate shipping costs, right? So I can, you now I can write whatever I want in the, um, in, in the, uh, in the title. Uh, right. Yeah. So you added this a different parameter. Yeah. Test Zorro. Maybe I'll add the date. So it's uh one eleven, right? Mm -hmm. 2022. <laughs> Today is my birthday, so happy birthday to me. Oh, yeah, happy birthday, Mark. That's amazing. Okay, great. Yeah. Yeah, happy birthday, man. Awesome. Uh, and then from here, you'll go ahead and click the next arrow. And this is just to review the results. So you have your marketplace is Amazon, the supplier is Zorro, the supplier categories you've chosen are all uh, noted over here. And then all your filters that you've set are noted over here. Um, once you're finished uh, reviewing and you don't wanna go back and change anything, you can click run search and the search will run. Uh, you'll be brought to this results page. Right now, this, uh, this uh, search is being queued up. But right at the moment, there's a, there's a search that we've done beforehand as a test. Mm -hmm. And so that search is still going on. Um, but once this is finished, it'll go ahead and start to run this search. And just for the sake of time, uh, what I'll do is I can jump into a different uh, search results category that we've done. I mean, we've, we searched from Farm and Fleet or from Zorro. So let's just choose this one. This has 3,600 items. Uh, over here, it tells you the total items and then based off the filters, the, the, the exact results you, you got in and then the time that the search was created. Right. And from here, I mean, you can just run through all the products. You can sort it by profit if you'd like and go down from there. Um, we have the source price, the lowest price, uh, lowest FBM price, uh, the profit, the best selling rank, if there is one, mm -hmm. uh, buy box price, the category, ASIN, um, if we can grab the UPC, we'll, we'll pull it in for you and the brand name. So, and that's all export, all exportable. And I mean, you, you can run through all these items. And are the, are the links to the, to the sources still there? Yeah, the links are right. still there. You can go ahead and, and click the links and we'll pull up the different links to the items just to confirm that the items are 100% match. Right. And you can go ahead and compare um, and make sure that item is a match. So for this one, this wasn't the best example, but uh, you can see that all the links are available. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, sweet. Uh -huh. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, we, now you have thousands of items to really go ahead and source from. Let's say I wanted to set, check my farm and fleet listings. We can do that, for example. And uh, over here, you have the little green plus button that'll add products to your buy list. Right. Um, buy list is a short list of products, or you can list it straight directly through uh, through our Sage system if you're signed up for for Sage. Mm -hmm. uh, with OA Genius, you can click this purple plus button and it'll auto populate all of the information for you in the lister. And from here, all you have to do is enter a SKU. 
right? Yeah, so yeah. Click create listing, and the listing is created, and you're all and you're all done. Wow. So so is the next step to be able to list to all the, like multiple platforms at the same time because that would seem like an interesting process. Yeah. So that we we're we're definitely uh, getting set up for that. That can definitely be a, a feature in the in the future. Um, but for the moment. Uh, what, what, we, what we have is we have, uh, you know, we have it separate. So right now it's separate right. where Amazon and FBM is here. And then if you want to choose Walmart Marketplace, you'll choose it from there. But eventually once we have more, you know, more yeah. marketplaces, they're all merged together into one system in our Sage system. And we're adding Shopify, Facebook Marketplace, you know, basically, uh, you know, with the click of a button, hopefully in the future, we'll be able to list to multiple marketplaces. There are specific criteria that is uh, required from specific marketplaces. Um, yeah, so sometimes yeah, so sometimes the prices might be a little different. I seriously, and if you if you upload too many and the requirements and the, the data they need might be different. Right, the data that you're entering in each platform is a little bit different. So we may, you know, eventually you'll, 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 there'll be some manual work involved, you know, right. very minimal manual work involved. But yeah, this is uh this is a this is an amazing system. Everything's basically automated. The searching is automated, and it's hopefully going to save a lot of time for our for our clients. Absolutely. Yeah, this is exciting because that means because with these platforms without limits on how much you could list, and you could yeah you could it would save a lot of time with finding the top seller items. I can tell you that. Wow. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, and and the the ways that you can filter down the results on the results page, so filtering down by. Um, you know, you know, just by clicking the button, you can filter by best sell, best selling rank. Yeah. Filter by profit, so you can sort. You sorry, you can sort by all this, all this information. So it's it's really it's really a a, a powerful tool. Wow. Yeah, dude. I'll 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 try it out. I was talking to Jordan about this, and he, when he was telling me it was coming out, I was like, this this will save a lot of time. This is sick. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna have some fun with this later. <laughs> Great, great. Yeah, yeah, I'll definitely be able to give you access and everything. So you can you can play around with it since it's not uh, available yet to the public, but it should be very soon. Okay, sweet. So guys, look out for when this is available. But if you want to, again, like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you want to check out OA Genius, there's a link in the description with a free trial. Um, I mean, what, let you guys know when it's available. So what type of time frame? When do you think, when do you think it'll be like publicly available? publicly available hopefully within the next week or so uh yeah. you know there's, there's a few finishing touches uh that we need to do for pricing and and uh and uh and on the marketing end but once that's all all finished uh it should be available to everybody okay hopefully sweet. Soon. yeah this is sweet dude thanks for your time is there anything else what would you like to share how 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 what has the numbers been like i know a lot of people are asking about are people still drop shipping and i think that's a stupid question because people are still buying buying stuff online but what are you seeing on the client side anything you could share with us that would help with 2022 or what do you guys plans and so on yeah so i mean sourcing products is is really you know you know the faster you can source products the faster you can grow your store more listings equal more profit and that and we've been seeing that consistently the more listings people add to the store the more profit that they're making um, you know, and, and the, and right now, I mean, it's, it's never been a better time to get into, uh, Amazon, uh, drop shipping, in my right. opinion. I mean, there's less competition. There's, you know, the suppliers are there. Um, we have the suppliers available and we have the software tools available to really automate most of the process. Uh, people are doing crazy numbers, you know, hundreds, hundred, hundred, 200, 300, 500, a million a month. Yeah. Um, I, I interviewed Ty like two weeks ago or three weeks ago and he did like $300,000 a month. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's, and that's consistent. Uh, you know, yeah. it's, and then that, and, and that's with like, not even, you know, you can have less than 10,000 listings and you can still be doing those numbers nowadays. So, so it's really amazing. Yeah. So guys, if you're looking at this and you have any questions for any of us, let us know in the comment section, but thanks for your time, brother. I'll, 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 I'll have some fun, fun with this as soon as I have access. Yeah. Yeah. Mark. It's amazing as always. Thank you so much for having me. All right. Bye guys. So again, like the video, subscribe to your channel and join the community link in the description.